Details now on the Bixby sexual assault investigation. A student says it happened last September at the superintendent's home. He says he was held down by other football players as they assaulted him with a pool cue. New documents released by the Rogers County District Attorney now shed light on events that took place after the reported assault. Two works for you reporter Travis Guillory joins us with the new information. Travis. Brian Karen, these documents say the four players admitted to participating in the assault and confirmed each other's involvement. Other information here comes from a search warrant served for the four players' cell phones. With those four phones, investigators are privy to text messages, calls, photos, and videos from the players involved. A fifth student admitted to videoing the assault and sharing it with other students. The investigator claims that student told his mother a parent of another player involved offered to buy his phone, which had the video of the incident. The documents also address the Bixby School Board's accusations that there were errors in the timeline of when school administrators learned about the assault allegation and reported it. The investigator says it's unclear when school officials reported the sexual assault to the authorities, although it was certainly delayed for days. He also suggests there were initial efforts to not report it at all. Now coming up at 6, we'll go more in depth about the timeline of when events were reported and many of you have been asking why no charges have been filed. Also at 6, we'll show you what happened when we went to the Rogers County DA's office and asked that very question. Travis Guillory, two works for you.